That's what I was going to say. I just, we were on this road trip from uh, South Carolina. Well, we are from the DMV, but we went on, oh, but, oh my goodness. I have to stop myself. I have to, because it's so, 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 so necessary for me to be conscious of my vocabulary and I am no longer using the word but because it is a contradiction I'm legitimately contradicting myself and it's just like I I well that too that word like being in generation z the excessive use of the word like is just out of this world and I'm really doing my best to minimize it as much as I possibly can and be more direct and assertive and specific with what it is that I'm trying to say so that I don't have to use the word like and also that I don't have to contradict myself by using the word but um Okay, now with that being said, we were on this road trip, okay, from D.C. to South Carolina. We went there because my aunt turned 100 years old, 100 birthdays. Whoa, like, whoa. (laughs) That's phenomenal. That's divine. That's so gracious and precious. And I just loved being able to, to see that accomplishment because that is empowering 100 birthdays like whoa so we were on the drive back and I just started to sketch this man in my journal and you know I just been realizing recently that no matter who my subject is no matter who the person that I'm sketching is they always end up looking like Jason Momo. <laughs> Somehow they always end up with his beard and his like untamed hair and his eyebrow scar and just his face. And I'm just, how? How did it get here? I was just on my own road in my own mind in my own path I just wanted to create some art next thing you know it's a portrait of Jade Samamo like and I I think that I started to realize that that happens to me as an artist um my the subject matter of my art or whatever it is my creations I don't have control over that I don't have control over that subconsciously I believe that I have no control over the artist the artist has absolute control and the ability to create and express whatever it is that serves our highest interests and so when I think I'm going to be drawing a tree next thing you know I end up with a portrait of Jason Momo. <laughs> It's very enlightening because it's just uh, like, okay, that's what's going on back there. (laughs) That's what's happening back there in that psyche. And just the projections, just the beauty of the mind and the fact that if, if the subconscious wants to communicate something it doesn't it doesn't matter it's it's going to be communicated it's going to come to the surface whether you like it or not whether you intend for it or not and this has happened to me a numerous amount of times where i'm just sketching sketching a face and next thing you know it's freaking aquaman (laughs) i just think that's so funny so 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 funny but I really, I think that's all I have to say about this. <laughs> I just had that thought. I'm flipping through my journal because I'm I'm about to go read um, an excerpt. But mm, the word again. Whoo. Though I am just on this, on this, on this wave right now. I'm just letting myself 
just allow myself to just speak and just flow and just go with it i have a pinterest board of jason momo actually i've changed the name a million times like a million times and i do this thing sometimes with celebrities where i shorten their name you know how jennifer lopez people call her j-lo I have this thing where I will do that, especially if I feel a certain level of attachment or connection to a celebrity. For instance, Selena Gomez. Sometimes I will end up calling her Cell Go. <laughs> and so with Jason Momoa, at some point, I just, I just, you know, obviously I'm not saying it to him because I haven't met him. Um, and I don't really have conversations about him with anyone, well, except for when it was the Super Bowl, and it was, and you know, he had that, like, T-Mobile commercial, and I was like, y'all, y'all better tell me when Jason Momoa will come on that screen, because I'm gonna come and watch that commercial, but aside from that, I don't talk about <laughs> certain things, because they're precious to me, and so, I've been, like, subconsciously shorting his name to J-Mo, <laughs> i'm so sorry if he doesn't like that i i apologize but i kind of like it it's like J Mo, jason momoa you know that whole thing uh but i i mm, 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 but anyways i do have a pinterest board with him i just changed it to twin because we had the same hair at some point i my my hair legitimately looked just like his with the blonde at the bottom and you know there's this ombre thing going on but i just recently re-dyed my hair so it's more blonde i'm more blonde than anything so technically it's not twin anymore so i'm probably gonna go and change my pinterest name my my pinterest board name um I love his tattoos. They're cool. I was watching this this mm, interview of him um, where he was talking about his tattoos. And, and he was saying that all of them, like most of his tattoos, pretty much are about protection. And how he, he, you know, all of them have some sort of deep spiritual meaning. And I loved that. And I think, you know, tattoos are kind of infinite. I feel as though some people can get tattoos and it's just sort of on the whim and it's whatever for them. And then there are people like myself and I, um, it seems to be Jay, Jason Momoa that m wants to have a little bit more meaning to their tattoos. So for instance, like my, my tattoos, I have a dragon on my neck and he's my divine masculine he is the symbol of the divine masculine and he represents self-mastery mastery of the self also it is a reminder an expression of my unity with all of nature's elements um and he's red and i saw him in my dream i saw myself with a dragon neck tattoo in my dream and i looked at her and i was like oh my goodness <laughs> i want to be like that i i want to be her reflection and so i got it and uh, um it just makes me think you know the beauty of the subconscious and how even when it comes to my art, I end up being the reflection. And we live in a world that will program you and condition you and teach you to believe that your projection is in your external realm. And that your reflection, did I say projection? Mm. Mm -hmm. That your projection is in your external realm. Interesting. And my thing is, what if we are the projection, you know, what if we are the reflection, what if we are the ones, you know, being looked at um, in the mirror? Because there's so many things in my life that just prove I am not, like, you know, really the one in control here. There's clearly a greater force, a greater creative mind at work. And so, okay, that's that's my Jason Momoa spoke. 
Okay, <laughs> goodbye.